Israel-Hamas war showcased Iran's rocket threat. For the watching world, the fourth Gaza war was defined by images of rockets streaking into the night sky. As both sides take stock amid a ceasefire, one data point will leap out at military planners throughout the Middle East. Hamas fired over 4,000 projectiles in 11 days of fighting. That is a huge increase in the rate of fire compared to the 2014 Gaza war, when Hamas fired 4,550 days. Just as alarming is the improved quality of Hamas' arsenal, in the latest conflict, it was able to lob projectiles much farther into Israel than before. Hamas also used so-called suicide drones which, unlike its rockets, can be directed at specific targets. This is part of a pattern developing across the region. Yemen's Houthi rebels have used increasingly sophisticated rockets and drones against Saudi Arabia, as have Shiite militias in Iraq, against U.S. forces. By far the largest, most advanced stockpile belongs to Lebanon's Hezbollah, which includes precision-guided missiles as well as rockets that may one day be launched from long-range drones. All these arsenals in the possession of non-state actors share a common origin, Iran. In recent years, the Islamic Republic has supplied these groups, key members of Tehran's region-wide network of proxies and partners, with tens of thousands of rockets and drones, as well as the technology to build them. In the process, it has fundamentally transformed warfare in the Middle East. The use of rockets and missiles in war used to be the province of states Israelis recall the scuds from Saddam Hussein's Iraq in 1991 because only they could afford and produce complex rocket components.